loans, division of the ministries of agriculture. Just like if you get to a ministry of agriculture in your states, either in New York State, Ogun State, in all the states of the Federation, there is always the ministry of agriculture. And there is always a credit and loan division of that ministry that provides financial assistance to the farmers. The fourth uh, role of government is agricultural education. It is of high importance to educate the farmers so that they, they will be able to appreciate the modern method of farming practices and also have maximum benefits from extension services, which are aimed at improving agricultural production, productivity, raising their social status, developing a sense of responsibility and dignity of labor. The government through our policies encourage the teaching of agricultural science in primary, secondary, secondary schools and colleges. That is, when uh, the need for agricultural education actually came into place, the government through its policies actually made it mandatory or encouraged that agricultural, agricultural science should be taught in primary school and should be taught in secondary school and then colleges so that people can have a sense of production, agricultural production, so that they can have, just like now, if you, there are some universities in Nigeria here that no matter what the course you apply for, no matter the course you are studying, you just have to go to the farm. Just like you know, Futa and then some other universities like that. It is a must for you to um, register for a course in agriculture. The government even went further to establish some universities and colleges of agriculture so as to enhance the teaching of agriculture, such as the University of Agriculture in Abiyokuta, the University of Agriculture in Makoli, and then the Federal College of Agriculture in Ibadan, and others. If you get to other universities, you can still study agriculture. The fifth role of uh, the government in agricultural development is agricultural extension services. Agricultural extension services is a method of educating farmers about improved farming system or the use of better inputs such as improved seed and then uh, also uh, educate farmers on the use of fertilizer, the reason why you have to use fertilizer because if you use fertilizer, you have better yield, appropriate insect, insect, insecticide to use while storing your produce, and then the herbicide, the appropriate herbicide to use to control weeds, and then they, they also educate the farmers on farm machinery. Thus, the government has always been trying to improve agricultural productivity through extension services being provided by extension agents who usually go to the rural areas to extend the new methods of farming to the farmers. Government, in a way of uh, providing our extension services, usually send extension agents to the farmers, to the rural areas, so that they can educate them, educate the farmers about the new technologies, about the new uh, cultural practices that are obtainable and that can aid better yield of agricultural produce. The objective or aim of agricultural extension are one, inform farmers about improved methods of farming, two, teach farmers new methods of various farming operations, three, teach farmers good farm management practices. That is, the farmers need to be taught better farm management practices. Fourth, the fourth one is to provide solutions to farmers' challenges and also take back some of these challenges to the research centers for solution, which is very important because the farmers, what happens on the farm is quite sometimes quite different from what we learn in books. And if these uh, essential uh, agents are not there, there won't be anybody that will take their challenges to the research institute to provide solutions to them. Another role of government in agricultural development is the provision of agricultural research and quarantine services. Research is a, is a careful investigation in order to discover new facts. 
The government has spent a huge sum of money in the establishment of research centers, which improve varieties of crops and breeds of livestock. We are uh, new improved varieties of crops, breeds, crop and breeds of livestock are produced. All these discoveries are passed to the farmers through extension agent. Quarantine is the general isolation of new or introduced crops and animals for a period for a period which is long enough to discover whether they are diseased or not and also to check for pests that may that for the pests that may be on them. Just like uh, during this uh, influenza flu, flu was actually rampaging the country. There were the quarantine service services were being provided so that uh, those the affected bulbs won't be introduced into the market, and uh, it won't bring about an uh, uh, it won't bring about an endemic or epidemic in the country. The main objective of government's provision of quarantine service is to protect agricultural crops uh, and, uh, and agricultural produce in general, which are produced in the country from foreign diseases and pests, which may be introduced by imported products from other countries or regions within the country. Examples of research institutes in Nigeria include the International Institute of Tropical and Cultural IIT Ibado. Then we have the Coco Research Institute of Nigeria, that's green. That one also is in Ibado. Then we have the Nigerian Institute for Oil Palm Research, which is NIFO in Benin. Then we have the National Cereal Research Institute, which is Nkri in the Badigi. We have the National Horticultural Research Institute, NIHOT in Ibado. We have the National Root Crops Research Institute, that's a NRCR. I, that's UMDK, and then we have a Nigerian Stored Product Research Institute, that's NSPRI, NSPRI in Illinois. We have the Robert Research Institute of uh, Nigeria, that's RRIN in Benin. We have the Forest Research Institute of Nigeria, that's FREE in Ibadan. We have the Leather Research Institute of Nigeria, that's GREEN, that's LRIN in Zaria, and then we have the Lectured Research Institute in Medigree. Now, the last uh, role of the government that is that we are having for this series is the provision of vaccines. The government helps in the prevention of disease of livestock by providing vaccines to livestock farmers, either free or at subsidized rates. The vaccination programs provided by the government is very important in livestock production in that it prevents losses which may occur due to disease outbreak, such as the avian influenza vaccine. Now, with that, we've come to the end of the role of government in agricultural development. Now we'll be considering a role of non-governmental organization in agricultural development. Then, what is a non-governmental organization? Who are they? Uh, agricultural non-governmental organization are private agencies or corporate bodies concerned with the development of agriculture, they are not owned or controlled by the government. That is, they are controlled by, they are controlled and owned by private agencies or corporate bodies. Now, we now considering the ways in which NGOs contribute, that is, non-governmental organizations contribute to agricultural development in Nigeria or West Africa as a whole. One, they assist in rural development by providing social amenities like road, water supply, health centers, and so on. Then two, they carry out research to improve or develop new crop varieties. Then the third role they, control, they, they, they play is that they carry out research to improve or develop breeds of animals. Then the fourth one is provision of financial support or funding for agricultural agricultural extension project. The fifth one is improvement of farmers awareness and agricultural knowledge. The next one is they carry out social economic research to understand the, to understand the peasant farmers with a view to assisting them. That is, you have to know, you have to study the socio-economic uh, way of life 
of the farmers. You have to study their way of life so you can help them. Because if you don't study their way of life, it will be difficult for you to help them. Then the, the, the seventh one, the fund research for better farming method and also develop farm implements. While the last one is that they also help to control weeds, pests, and diseases, disease organisms by providing the necessary chemicals. And we now come to the end of uh, uh, the roles the, uh, that non governmental organizations play. Now, let's look at the examples of non governmental organizations involved in improving agricultural uh, production. We have um, the International Institute for Tropical Agriculture, IITA. We have the West Africa Rice Development Agency, that's WADA. Uh, we have uh, International Livestock Center for Africa. Then we have uh, International Crop Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics. Then we also have International Livestock Research Institute. We have uh, Food and Agricultural, Agricultural Organization, that's FAO. Then we have the Farmers Cooperative, which uh, is common within farm uh, in, in, rural, in the rural setting. Uh, and with that, we come to the head of uh, the role of government and non-government in agricultural development. Our next topic will be agricultural laws and reform. And uh, the first subtopic we'll be looking at here is uh, the land tenure system in Nigeria. Land tenure refers to the economic, legal and political arrangement regarding to the ownership and management of land and is